It's Kristen from KristenOnDemand.com and on this channel you will find videos all about teaching ESL online for new aspiring and veteran teachers and in this video I'm going to go over intro videos. Now specifically this video is going to be intro video for butterfly educators but this intro video can also be applied for VIP kid teachers looking to either make their intro video for the first time or perhaps redo your intro video and go go kid teachers as well if you're looking to just get started with your intro video or to spice it up and maybe add something this video is for you so let's jump in let's get started okay so before we jump into the nitty-gritty of making your intro video most companies again this video is specifically about butterfly educators but it can be applied to other companies such as VIP Kid and GoGo -Go Kid and companies, other ESL companies like that as well. They're going to be looking for a few specific things. Background is one. Does it have to be as elaborate as my current background? No. No, 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 no. It does not. But I would I would try to find something educational, clean, not super distracting, not all over the place. Okay, what else should we be looking for? Okay, so the space where you're recording your intro video, you want to make sure that you are in a space that is free of all distractions, noise, sounds. If you have kids, make sure that you have set aside a little bit of time where they're not going to be yelling, screaming, talking, whispering around. You have a little bit of time to yourself that you can dedicate to recording this intro video. Now, again, these don't have to be very long. The ones for Butterfly specifically, 20 seconds to two minutes tops. So this doesn't have to take you a lot of time. So you just need a little bit of time, especially if you prep beforehand, kind of know where you're going with it, what you wanna say, easy peasy. Set up, record, you're done. So that's what I'm hoping that this video will help you do. Okay, the next item is to make sure that, yes, your background needs to be educational, tidy, clean, not super distracting, but you also wanna make sure that it doesn't contain a window or a door. You don't want to have the light coming in from a window or all of a sudden you're doing your intro video and you're rocking it and it's awesome and all of a sudden a bird hits it or a dog or some kid is making faces <laughs> in your window or something else that is distracting um, happens in your video. Yes, you could cut that out, but again, that's not an area you wanna be teaching in anyway because those things can happen there too, which causes distractions. Plus it can mess with your lighting too. So best to stay away from windows, doors for the same reason, people walking in and out, things like that. So they don't want to see doors, windows in your background, in your video. Got it. Next, lighting. Lighting is big. So you want to make sure that you and your classroom are evenly and brightly lit. We don't want to see shadow, shadow teacher lurking in the shadows coming to teach you how scary and creepy for anyone especially children. So you don't want to see half of your face or you know any half of your face at all. You want to be able to see your face, see your hands, everything that you're doing. If you're gonna be holding up a whiteboard, that needs to be seen. You also don't want shadows lurking behind you because creepy things pop out from shadows and that's scary. So you want to make sure that everything that is in, you know, in your camera view is well lit can be seen and you want good lighting now um for butterfly specifically um they've really cracked down on this um they will give you pointers things that you can do to help with your lighting if they see that you're kind of having an issue um they're good about it they're a good company so my recommendation is if you're in an area that doesn't have natural light which a lot of times um, you're not. I teach in a basement, so I don't have any natural light down here. Um, I have a ring light in front of me. I have can lights above me. I make do. I do the best I can. The ring light is really the savior for me. So you can get those relatively cheap. They have 
pretty decent ones on Amazon. Hold on, let me show you. Hold on. This one here, you can get on Amazon. I think it's between eight and ten dollars. It has, I would turn it on, but I think it might blind you. It has between, I think, two or three different light settings, and it just, it's um, like a battery. Like, you can plug it in to charge it. I think this is decent. You can clip it onto like your phone, if that's what you're gonna use to record your videos for Butterfly or your computer, if you're gonna be using your webcam. Um, same thing if you're working for VIP Kid or GoGo -Go Kid, you can clip it onto your laptop and have it shine on you just to give you some light here um, if you're having issues with shadows, recommend. Okay, another thing to mention, is if you are already an ESL teacher for another company, such as VIP Kid, Go Go Kid, Q Kids, Palfish, any of those, and you're looking to add Butterfly into your repertoire, um, and you're going to make this intro video, I highly recommend, obviously, taking anything that you might have in your classroom already that pertains to these companies out of view. Um, we don't want to be, hi, my name is Teacher Kristen, welcome to my classroom, and this is, this is a panda, and it's also Dino, which is for VIP kid. No, 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 no. No, we don't want to do that. So, keep it classroom neutral, if that's a thing. I would keep it very classroom neutral, um... That my classroom, when I teach for VIP Kid, where you see these plants here, here, over here, um, I have dinos, Megan Mike um, puppets, stuff like that, that I pop up there for the kids. They love to see it. Um, when I'm teaching for GoGo -Go Kid, I put different things up there. And when I'm filming videos for um, for Butterfly, you see the plants. It, and I have these butterflies and stuff. So I try to you know, I don't, you don't want to have other companies, logos and, and, and things like that up when you are working for them. So keep that in mind also when you're making this intro video and also when you're making videos for Butterfly that you are not, or any other company if you're working for multiple companies, that you are taking down things that pertain to other companies. Yes, good practice. <laughs> Also want to note that that would go for what you're wearing as well. You don't want to be wearing a logoed shirt for another company in your video or while you're making videos for Butterfly, just like you wouldn't want to wear um, a Go Go Kid shirt while you're teaching for VIP Kid or vice versa. Yes? Yes. Good. Okay, so now let's get into best practices for making the video. Make sure you are making virtual eye contact with your audience the whole time. Yes, talking to you. Yes. Okay, and what else? Hmm. hmm. Yes, make sure to introduce yourself. Who are you? Why are you here? What is the purpose for this video? You don't want to go and talk about, I'm teaching, I'm teaching, I'm teaching. Who are you? Make sure you tell them. Also, on that note, tell them why they should be watching your videos and virtually taking your class. What are you bringing to the table? What do you have to offer them? Sell yourself. This is in Butterfly vi intro videos, VIP Kid intro videos, Go Go Kid intro videos, any other company's intro videos. You only have a little bit of time to get yourself in there Tell them why, 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 why choose you? This is your opportunity, tell them. Okay, also make sure if you're using gestures, TPR, all that fun stuff, that you're not using TPR off the screen that nobody can see. I have five years of experience. Uh, <laughs> right, awkward. Nobody can see that I'm doing five over here because it's way over here and nobody can see it and that's awkward, so don't do that. Okay, um, know, know, where, know where your camera is, where your screen is, where you are at all times. If you're saying, I have a big personality, and you go, big personality. I have a big personality, it's big. Stay in your screen, okay? Yes, yes, Also, yes. You don't want to do things that are going to cover your face, like, uh, like, like this. Hi, my name is Teacher Kristen. And I'm from the United States. 
or I'm from the United States. Right? No, no. Hi, my name is teacher Kristen and I'm from the United States of America. Get it in there where it's not awkwardly covering your face. Ah! Join the flag in the screen. Don't let it take you over. Yes? Yes, good. Okay, and with all that said, just be as entertaining, interactive, engaging as possible. Like I said, you have 20 seconds to two minutes to sell yourself to whoever is watching you. Again, why? Why should they choose you? Why should they take your class? This is your opportunity, sell it. Sell it, sell it, sell it. You got it. Okay, and this little tidbit is just for butterfly intro videos. So if you're watching this because you want to see an intro video for any other company, just kind of er, earmuffs right now because this does not pertain to you. But for butterfly, um, they didn't used to do this when I when I was hired, but now for all videos for Butterfly, they do want subtitles. So your intro video is no exception to this rule. So it will need subtitles as well. So make sure you are filming horizontally for all videos. And again, your intro video is no exception to this. And um, on earmuffs for everybody, this is how you should be filming all of your videos horizontally, not vertically. Yes, horizontally, good, uh, earmuffs again, butterflies, um, subtitles. So you're gonna need to put subtitles on every single spoken word in your intro video. Yes, yes, we got it. Every single spoken word. Good, good, got it, okay. So now that we've talked about everything, let's take a look at what a sample intro video for, and something that would work for Butterfly, VIP Kid, Go Go Kid, what a sample intro video might look like. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Teacher Kristen and I am from the United States of America. Welcome to my classroom. In my classroom, I like to have fun while learning at the same time. Hamburger. Mmm. Hamburger. Good job. I can't wait to teach you English. Be sure to look for Teacher Kristen. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. And there it is. That is just a sample. Doesn't have to be fancy. That one sure wasn't. Took me, I don't know, maybe two minutes to record, another five minutes to piece it together. So seven minutes total, and there it is. So that can be an intro video that you could send in to Butterfly that I know that they would approve for you. Again, you would have to add subtitles to that for it to be approved though for Butterfly. Um, you, could set, you could submit that as your VIP Kid intro video very easily or Go Go Kid. There you go, it's that simple. So I hope that this helps. Um, if you were looking for an example as an intro video, I hope that this gave you some guidelines. And again, sometimes it's good just to listen to someone talk about things that can go into an intro video and to give an example at the end. So again, I hope this helped you. If it did, be sure to let me know in the comments and subscribe. I have more videos like this coming your way. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.